Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to show you the first details of the facelifted Citroen C3 Aircross. So Citroen's SUV just got the redesign and as you can see we have the completely new face. I can turn on the new lights by just pressing this uh, button on the key and this is the new face much more mature, much more muscular, I would say. So let's start uh, with the new bumper. As you can see, we have a different shape. And especially from this angle, you can see that it's much more robust now. Moving on to the lights. So these are the daytime running LEDs. And here we have the main unit, LED technology. Also a new grill, which is really nice and actually uh, goes along with the rest of the new Citroen models. So these chevrons, they extend all the way here up to the lights. And yeah, it all looks pretty cool indeed. Tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts? We also have the new skid plate. And uh, moving on to the side, you see that we have a colorful car. So we have the black roof. And this is the platinum gray color. Speaking about the colors and combinations, there are actually 70 combinations for this car. So we have seven colors, three of them are new. We also have the color packs, which you see here. So you can have some elements in different colors as well. And there are two roofs available, either in black or in white. So a lot of customization and individualization, which is always a nice thing you know, to have. And this is your side profile, 4 meters 16 is the length and 2.6 meter is the wheelbase. So a lot of room inside and you will see that we also have the sliding rear bench. That's also very convenient. Let's show you the wheels. So the wheels, they go from 16 up to 17 inch and these are the 17 inch dual tone diamond cut finish and they really look nice. This is the dimension of the tires, 215, 50 R17, we have the Bridgeton tires on this car and you also have the plastic wheel arches and now you see the mirrors in different color and yeah, I also quite like this design element. This is uh, actually a sticker, I believe. So interesting design of the C pillar, uh, but also a lot of glass surface, which means, you know, visibility from inside is very good as well. Now at the back, we have the new design of the LED lights and new signature. You see them from here, quite nice. And I think that they are a bit darker compared to the one on the predecessor. I quite like this trend of darker LED lights at the back. Once again, those nice design, but also protective elements. And we have the sensors in here, as well as the rear view camera. Citroen logo as well as the lettering and the C3 aircross lettering and show you the car from this angle and now let's open the trunk so as I said the car is very practical let's take a look so here we have the square shape of the trunk and you have from 410 up to 520 liters because the rear bench can be adjusted so it goes up and down by 150 millimeters which means you know you can either get bigger trunk or more comfort at the rear seats depending on what you need you also have the dual floor so you can put this to a lower position but you would need to remove for example this that we have uh, down there but yeah pretty practical indeed we have the light on our left and uh, here i believe you could use this as hooks for your shopping bags. Of course, you can fold the seats and then you get almost 1,300 liters. So really practical for a small SUV. And now it is time to explore the interior. Tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts on this exterior design and on those changes? Let me also show you the fuel cap, which has this cool design because, uh, you know, it goes with this plastic wheel arches, same shape, so quite cool. And yeah, without further ado, let's see the interior. All right, so let's enter. And here we are greeted. Uh, first thing that I actually notice are the new seats. So the advanced comfort seats, they have this extra foam, 15 millimeters, and you immediately spot that. So I asked the people from Citroen whether our test car is gonna have those seats. And they just told me, when you sit, you will see and you will definitely feel whether it does. And yeah, well, those are the new comfort seats. We actually saw them on the C5 Aircross and now 
they are moving across the range to you know cheaper models and it's nice to have them here as well this is the view from driver's perspective and let's immediately turn on the car you have the classic key and dials go up and car comes to life uh, so yeah, this is it. This is the layout. We have the new 9-inch screen currently with navigation and map view And let me show you actually the specs of the car which we have here uh, So this is the shine package. We have the pure tech petrol engine with 110 horsepower and uh, well, yeah, those are some specs. Name of this color platinum gray as I already told you this interior is metropolitan graphite and we also have some um, options here such as the color package orange so that was uh, i was talking about that with the you know configuration and individualization options we also have the rear view camera family package and 17 inch origami wheels uh, this is the price of the model in our video and um, i will put the euro amount on your screen I think this should be somewhere around 20,000 euros. You also have a five year warranty and or 80,000 kilometers. And the base price is here. So I will also put the euro amount on your screen. And let's check out the rest of the interior. And I actually moved the car a bit so that we have less sound uh, here inside. So the steering wheel is a classic one with this gloss bike finish. Here's where you would adjust the volume. Here you have the list of stations, then you adjust them in here. This is, of course, to call with your mobile phone. And uh, in front of us, there is the classic analog cluster and you can change some of the information here by sliding this one. And the airlines look quite cool. I really love the design of those. And uh, yeah, well, I do love this cloth material, quite nice. A lot of storage room here. Let me also show you the glove box. Pretty decent. Additional storage room in here. You can also get the wireless charger. This is the USB port. And you also have the 12 volt power outlet. Six speed manual on this car. Classic handbrake and the cup holders, which are not adjustable. And we do have this gloss black finish, which I'm not a huge fan of as this will get scratches easily the armrest is here you can move it up and now we can access the new storage room here and it's cool that you know everyone can access this compartment because in even you know people from the back can for example put some of the things inside as well and yeah now you see the seats once again so this is the new nine inch touch screen uh, you have one hidden feature so when you press it with three fingers you go into the main menu now you have for example the radio the apps connected app also available and now off to navigation let's go back you can of course adjust the settings for the navigation turn on the 3d view and buildings and stuff like that and then uh, let's go back here climate now yes you do control the ac here on the screen not the best solution if you ask me i would prefer to have the classic knobs but that's the trend these days almost all manufacturers you know do that so yeah tell me in the comments what are your thoughts and do you agree with me or you think that the touchscreen ac is you know good and useful but yeah climate controls vehicle now here you see uh, this car has up to 12 driver assist and safety systems and um, well yeah you can also configure various things in here vehicle settings safety now you see we have the active safety brake driver attention warning and speed recommendation you can turn that on or off of course I suggest that you keep those on all the time rear viper in reverse it's turned on and the headlight controls so directional headlamps guide me home lighting and welcome lighting they're all turned on and I will keep it that way and that's it in order to turn off the start stop system you need to press here now it's been deactivated and uh, yeah well that's pretty much it you can also go to the home menu with just this button you don't need to do the special trick but uh, yeah I quite like it 
then the AC shortcut would be here and this is to defrost the windows I quite like this sound and lock and unlock so that's pretty much it I can also show you the sun visors you also have this uh, it's cool and convenient because for example on highway you can put the card in here the lights are here not in LED though and the sun visor for the passengers here also with this cool feature and now let's check it out at the rear all right and let's enter the car here at the back and first of all you notice that we have a rather nice angle of opening and those sunshades which are very useful on a day like this uh, and also you see active foam at the rear seats as well so let's jump inside and well yeah this is okay i would say so just enough room for me this is the view on the front and we also have the usb port and as i said you can access this storage room um, you know from the rear seat as well that's quite cool and let me show you how much space i have for my head all right so let's take a look at this so as you can see i have decent amount of room here for my head i'm one meter 87 and i still have some decent amount but the cool thing is that you can even lean back a bit so yeah the rear bench adjustable and uh, now we have even more room which is quite nice and this is the situation for my knees so just about right i'm touching this seat but you know it's pretty decent for a small suv and uh, you can also move the whole bench by 150 millimeters but yeah right now i want more comfort for me so i will keep it like this but of course uh, if you need more space at the back you can do that as well and now time to check out the engine i need to pull this and this is it this is the engine it's a well-known pure tech petrol engine producing 110 horsepower paired with the six-speed manual you can also go for the pure tech with 130 horsepower paired with the automatic transmission and there are also diesels available paired with either automatic or manual so tell me in the comments what would be your choice all right guys and that was it the first look at the citroen c3 aircross facelift here at the creation premiere of this car tell me in the comments how do you like the changes that we see and well yeah that's it thank you for watching subscribe and see you on the next video bye bye